the Battlefield 1 CTE has returned and in doing so it has brought several interesting changes. The main change that you'll notice is Volga River Operations. This has had a major overhaul. Essentially what they've done is changed the Bravo flag, a couple of tank spawns and then added extra spawns for players as well. This is just because the experience was not brilliant to start with and they're refining it. Operations on Volga River should be a better experience. Go onto the CTE and check it out. Now the main purpose of this video was to showcase the new weapon variants that have been introduced to the CTE. You can expect to see these in the main build of the game sooner or later once they have been refined and tested on the CTE. Now in this video I will go through all of them showcasing gameplay in the background. Firstly we have the Shorgan Inertial Slug. This variant fires slug shells with a single projectile instead of a buckshot like the factory version. It is equipped with lens sights. You can expect this to behave in the same way to the 1900 slug or the Model 10A slug, again, is just a slightly longer range, single projectile version of the other shotgun. We also have the Ryby Rolls 1918 Optical, a weapon that many people have requested for a long time. This variant is equipped with a lens sight and offers slightly better aimed accuracy at the cost of spread and recoil recovery. Could be quite interesting to see what this gun is good for, as the Ryby Rolls is a weapon that I enjoy using a lot, however, it doesn't always get the job done. Sometimes you wish there was a slightly longer range, more accurate variant when you were aiming down sight. Next, we have an interesting update, the Machine Pistole M1912 slash P16 Experimental. This variant has a different trigger group, giving it a two round burst fire mode with a very high rate of fire at 1200. It is equipped with a lens sight and is more accurate than the Storm variant of this weapon, though slightly more difficult to control. This could be awesome, as we don't have many burst fire weapons in the game, and of course the Machine Pistole is not really a weapon that many people use since the TTK 2.0 update. Next we have the M1917 Patrol Carbine. This variant is equipped with a mid-range scope, a first for the Assault class, and offers improved aimed accuracy over the Trench variant at the cost of hip fire. For the Scout class, we have four new variants. The Type 38 Arisaka Patrol, an interesting name. This variant is equipped with a scope and offers improved accuracy while moving, similar to the Carbine variants. We have the Kakano Patrol Carbine. This variant is equipped with a scope and offers improved accuracy while moving, similar to the Carbine variants. And then we have the Ross Mark III Infantry. This is the plain iron sight version of the Ross Mark III, a weapon that I am absolutely in love with since the Apocalypse release. It is a great, great weapon and basically replaced the SMLE for me, and I think it's great fun to use. Finally, we have the M1917 Enfield Silenced. This variant is equipped with a high power scope and a silencer to reduce sound and flash. However, unlike sniper variants, it has no bipod and the suppressor prevents mounting a bayonet. Awesome news in my opinion, I don't like the bayonet, but in addition to that, you have got a silenced weapon, finally, in the multiplayer section of Battlefield 1. Very, very cool. The fact it's got a high power scope as well. I think a lot of people are going to be pulling off some long range kill streaks with this thing. The fact that you have reduced sound and flash is going to conceal your position on operations. If you pull off a nice flank, you've got some crossfire, you're silenced, you can do some awesome work. In addition to this, as I mentioned, there are several changes to the CTE that have the purpose of fixing bugs. You can see these in the update notes down beneath. Thanks for watching this little update video. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. Let me know what you think of all these new weapon variants on the CTE. I think it's awesome that DICE is still updating the game and it does give the possibility that even more stuff will be added to the game before we finally start moving on towards the new battlefield. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video.